Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with more Let's Play Shining the Holy Ark. And as you can see, um, that got me nowhere fast, other than where we already kind of were. So, let's, let's look around here, shall we? Because we want to go this way. But I think there's a Tail Viper blocking the way. But I mean, on the upside, that did get us into the fight with the Tail Viper, which is something that we wanted. And there's another downstairs section which is another part of the basement. And yeah, we'll go ahead and look here. Might as well. Yeah, there's... not much here that I can remember. Yeah, there's really not anything here, so I don't know... Well, no, there is something. Because this is the biggest part. And more bad guys, so I'll be back in just a second. Alright, this stuff's not really um, providing too much of a threat anymore. It's more of an inconvenience now, which is where we want it to be. We'd rather ha have things be an inconvenience than anything else. Alright, so... Yeah, this is the biggest part. And more bad guys. I'll probably leave this fight in because I'm tired of cutting out videos left and right. Or cutting out parts of videos left and right, I should say. Oh god, I hate some of the stuff. Stop dodging my attacks, you stupid ball of slime. Yep, poison. But we got an antidote herb because we just killed the tail viper. Stop dodging, you stupid pieces of crap. There should be no reason for you to dodge the actual experienced fighters. Dodging the uh, the magic users? That makes sense. Dodge Melody's attacks. She's not used to hitting things with a staff. She casts magic for a living. But dodging the swordsman and the dragon man? That's just... No. Alright. I'm, I'm kind of done with my rant now. Uh, it's not this way, is it? I think it is. No, it's not. You get lost very easily. <laughs> I'm one of those people who has, like, no internal compass. Whatsoever. Alright, uh, this is where I want to be. Because there is something here. And this is... a pixie? Yep. A pixie named Palm. Like the tree! Get it? Yeah, you get it. And I missed something else. Damn it, looking at the map. I missed a succubus. And I can't get it right now, so I'll have to come back for that one. We'll use my newfound pixie to help us out. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Alright, so he's dead. Or they are dead, I should say. Because there were several of them. And... Treasure chest. I think this is... Yep. Like, I think I got everything from the treasure chests that I should get. And I did. Alright, we're gonna heal Rhodey. Attack, attack. Heal Melody. Melody's heal goes off first. I freaking hate chest ghosts. Freaking soul steal is the biggest dick move this game has. Alright. Almost done. Except not, because there's still a ton more to this little section down here. And more bad guys, so back in a second. 
I really should just be using suppress more often is how how this boils down to it. But Arthur's level 20, and that's why I'm not using suppress, because I need my people to level up. We're gonna use another healing item on Melody, because she just keeps getting raped. Like, everything seems to want to attack Melody. Alright, this is a big square. As I was saying, that's just a big square. And I'm trying to... Like, I want to do it for the map completion, but I'm tired of taking extra steps and risk getting into all these random battles that just keep popping up out of freaking nowhere! I, I really need to use Suppress. That's just how this is going to go. On the upside, at least the fights aren't taking long. It's just... It's so much more work for me to have to cut out the stupid 30 second fight when I don't need to get into the stupid 30 second fight to begin with. Alright, uh, where? The blue hell am I? Yeah, that's where I gotta go. I gotta go down, because it's in this purple part. I do like how they have different colored map sections for different elevations. You know, that's just... I just find that to be entertaining. Alright, there's nothing down that way. We can see that. That's just a dead end. There's a hole up there. Uh, you're a chest ghost. I know you're a chest ghost. I'm not messing with you, because I'm freaking tired of soul steel. That is a chest ghost. Don't mess with it. Just just don't do it. You're better off without it. All right. Um so there's a hole there. Don't fall down the hole. And the last tail viper. Which is great because right after this as soon as this fight ends, we fight the next boss. Like, literally, it it happens one right after the other. So I'm going to make sure everyone is healed up relatively well. Before we even, well, I should do it closer to the end, but I'm not too worried about this guy. I'm really not. The Tail Vipers are just kind of a joke, honestly. They're just there to block your path. Alright. And thankfully, <laughs> he attacked before Basso used the, uh, the herb. So that works out well. And we're going to support everyone. Melody, give us your support! That's... that's a great deal of support, honestly. Now we're all gonna get faster attack runs than him. We should, at least. Nope. Basso's still... kinda low. Alright, come on. We can kill him. Before he keeps... getting the chance to do stupid stuff like that. Alright, kill it. Kill it dead. Yes, power attack it to death. Alright, well that's good. At least if he's gonna get all the AoE stuff done now, do it while I can still heal. Alright. Use the item on Basso. Basso will still attack. Brody still has... We're just going to go ahead and use all the healing herbs that I've got. So Arthur's the only one who won't get... Damn it, stop doing that! You have melee attacks. Use them, you little bastard.
Alright, well, we can heal two, Arthur. And that'll work out well for us, hopefully. I mean, you don't want to use all of your resources fighting the Vipers, because, like I said, the boss comes right after this. And you dot. And you spit out flames again! Christ, I hate this thing. It's, it's intentionally being difficult now. I've never had this much trouble with the third Tail Viper. Never have I had this much trouble with the third Tail Viper. Alright, so a third Tail Viper's dead. So that, he snakes away. Tail Viper's been defeated. We get gold, antidote herb, XP. Melody levels up to 19, which is, that's great. And we turn around. And we've pissed its tail off. Now its head's gonna come after us. I love how they make it sound like a train. You're gonna get run over by a giant freaking snake. Alright, so this fight is going to suck. Uh, heal Basso, Basso attack, Rhodey, Brutal Fire level 3, Melody, support level 2. Because we need to go fast. Because this guy, this guy can hurt. He can hurt bad. So we're just gonna lay into him with everything we've got. Sadly, Brutal Fire Level 3 didn't do what I was hoping it would do. Yeah, he's melee attacking. That's fine. Support too, because we need to make sure we go faster. Stack it up. I want all four of my people to get an attack before he gets an attack. And I should be at that point now. Nope. Shut out Scorching Fire. 38, 40, 37. Ouch. Alright, now is when we're going to start healing. Uh, Basso, you're just going to attack, because you can't do anything. Heal, heal, heal. Everyone needs to stay alive now, because he can kill us if he does Scorching Fire again. Okay, one point of damage and being poisoned, that's fine. I can handle that. Because I still have an antidote herb. Alright, and we will heal Basso, because he needs it. And then we're just gonna start laying into him, because we're doing we're doing alright. We're we're good. We're good. At least I'm gonna keep telling myself that. Because I'm gonna be ridiculously pissed off if I died in this fight. Hey, you can breathe flames, Basso can ble bre bleed blah, blah, blah. English fail. See, his melee attacks are actually kind of laughable. Like, he's not doing much. It's his special attacks that hurt. And really, I should be using, like, Brutal Fire, level 3, but it's not doing as much damage as it should for the MP cost, so... See, that's what hurts. Stop doing that. Mm. 
heal level 2, Arthur. Because Arthur still has healing items, so we can use those on anyone that we need to. He's got potions, which will pretty much heal everyone to full at this... Or, whoever we used it on to full at this point. Hey, I'm getting more attacks than he is. I really can't wait till we get Aura. I miss Aura. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is really not going bad. I'm doing a lot better than I was expecting to, given the, uh, the amount of frustration I've had up until this point. Come on, kill it. Alright, still not a problem. Why? Because we have Antidote! The spell! In which a fairy comes down and stabs you with a needle. Little, well, it's more of a little angel, because they've got a halo. So I guess they had to distinguish between, you know, the fairies that you get and the healing fairies. Because if that was the case, why don't my fairies heal me in battle? That would be awesome. You use the, uh, the special attack, and it drains life from them, like little vampires. Then I guess they wouldn't really be fairies, would they? They'd be vampires. Alright, um... We're gonna heal Basso, because the problem with Basso is he doesn't have the spirit, so if he dies, we've gotta go all the way back to a church to resurrect him. Arthur, Rhodey, and Melody, they're fine, so... I don't want them to die, because I want them to get the experience from this, but I'm not as upset if they die versus if someone else dies. Plus, I can just do this and still heal. And everyone's hunky-dory at this point. Hunky freaking dory. I love it. And power attack for the kill! Thank you, Arthur! Head Viper has been defeated. 1,300 golds. The Brave Apple was found. 254 XP. Basso levels up to 17. That has been it. And great job. And we recognize him as the guy from the items, weapons, and armor shop hanging next to the uh, item desk in Enric. Um, I don't remember what his name is. Lloyd, maybe? Yep, we'll probably meet again. Alright, so how he got from here to there is beyond me, honestly. Alright, so now we can wander around here. And there's the downstairs section. And that's the Far East region, which we don't want to go yet. Because as you can see, there's still stuff that we haven't looked around. Granted, I've got all the treasure except for one little thing here. That's what we wanted. The life ring. Um, I could also use the Brave Apple. I might use it on Basso just to, uh, get him up, because he's at, what, 17 now? Yeah, so he's the, kind of the farthest behind. Everyone else, pretty much where they need to be. Well, I could use it on Melody and get her to 20. He's almost to 19. Um, but really, the amount of XP needed, it's going to be Basso. So I'm going to use it on Basso. Um, Life Ring. Increases defense and recovers HP. Um, so that is very useful accessory there. Use the Brave Apple, and Basso levels up to 18. <laughs> So yeah, that works out well, doesn't it? 
All right, that increases his defense to 98. Let's see who else could benefit from it a little more. Um, I would have to remove one of her items. What item does she have? What does she have that would interfere with that? Oh, she's got the, uh, the haste ring. Which is why she's been going so much faster than everyone else. Hmm. That is a predicament, isn't it? Uh, we'll go ahead and equip her with that one. Because that's going to be more... Damn, it drops her agility down to 62. Which would make it the lowest agility... Oh no, she'd still have higher agility than Basso. Which is what we'll do. We'll give... We'll give that to Basso so that his agility... Then she will have the lowest agility. Yeah, she'll have the lowest agility. But she'll be recovering uh, HP every every turn. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here. And I'm going to go back and get the last item that I missed. So I'll see you guys in uh, the next part. Uh, till then, later everyone.